All right, if something ever goes wrong with what you're doing, there is an undo button up here. Like if, if I put this in the wrong place, I can always undo it. And then it will then see this length that I, uh, when I stretched it out here and looped it, and that's now gone again. Okay, so I can, so the undo button is really important. So if anything ever goes wrong, just tap the undo button. And also you can move things around. So I can just tap on this, wait until it's highlighted, and then I can move it wherever I want it. That needs to be at the beginning of 13 there. But that's how you can kind of um, control what's happening on your tracks. If you get something you don't want, you can tap on it, and then you get this whole menu here. You can go ahead and delete it or split it if you needed to do it or cut it or copy it. And we're gonna do that a little bit later on. So we have our first initial drum tracks here. Uh, we have our guitar track up here and we can go ahead and delete that now. So watch how I do that. I'm just gonna tap on that guitar, tap on it again. Then my menu comes up and I can hit delete. And now that uh, guitar track is gone. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and save our song now. So I'm going to tap on my songs. When you do this, you gotta watch where it closes to because then you gotta go find that file. So watch where it closes. It closed down here. Yours might close somewhere else. I'm going to tap just on the name, not on the icon, but actually just on the name. In my case, this is called My Song 18. I'm going to tap just on the name, and then I can delete that old name, and then put your name here. So I'm just going to put Brad space F. That's for my last name. And so I can find my song again. So just go ahead and, and label it. If you're working on multiple songs, you could always just put your name and then the number two after it or number three, just so you can find it again. I need to put uh, four on mine because I've done this a few times. So Brad F4, that just tells me that uh, this is my song. And then I'm just tap on it to open it up again. And then let's continue on with adding another beat to it. So let's go with um, another style of beat. So I'm gonna tap on the loop button here. And I want to go find down here, alphabetically down to the H's, I want Hip Hop Berlin Beat. So let me find where the H is at. Here we go. Hip Hop Berlin Beat. There we can listen to it. Yeah, that sounds like a great drum track. So watch what I do. I'm going to bring that in here, and I'm going to put it on the second track. So I have one track there, and now my second track. And I'm going to put that in the, in the empty holes. And so I'm going to select the track. I'm going to grab the little loop guy at the end here and move that forward until I now fill that space perfectly, okay? Then I can tap on it and I can copy it. Make sure you put the playhead where you want to paste it. So I'm gonna put the playhead at the beginning of the next open spot here and then I can tap on it, tap on the track, paste it. But now look, my track is too long to fill this little gap. So I'm gonna tap on that little section, tap on the little looping guy, move it in the right direction. So now you should have this little variation in your drum beat. So let me tap the rewind to beginning button and let's take a listen. So we start with this beat for four measures and then we move on. You hear the change in beat there? That's great because it's adding variety to our song and now we're ready to add some more instruments.